Now, back to Miller on Sports, the show that puts pro in sports. Everything else is just talk. Brought to you by the law offices of Ron Scholes. Our third and final guest for today, head coach of the JU Dolphins, Kerwin Bell. How you doing, coach? Hey, doing good. Excellent, excellent. Uh, you're glad you could make it on the program today. First off, let's get to the loss five days ago against the Citadel. Uh, what did you learn from that loss? What did you learn from your team? Well, I tell you, we battled all, all game. You know, we played extremely hard. That wasn't the, wasn't the problem. I know uh, talking to our defense coordinator, Jerry Adam, um, you know, they went through the film on Sunday and had zero lows on defense. Uh, so our kids played extremely hard. Uh, we just didn't didn't execute at a very high level like we usually do, uh, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, that kept our defense on the field, which we were undersized anyway, um, going against the scholarship program. Mm-hmm. Um, and once we you know stayed on the field as long as we did, we sort of wore down in the second half. Um, so really, it goes back. Our plan was there. We 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 won the turnover battle. We we won our special teams battle uh, against them. Um, we were a physical football team. We played hard, but we just. Um, we didn't execute very well, and um, you know it's probably one of our poorest execution games on offense as we've been around here for like two years. So mm-hmm. uh, we need to get back and, and get going, and, and um, hopefully we'll do that this week. Oh, well, Kerwin, I, I look at the box score, and I, I just stare at the rushing stats. Uh, the Bulldogs, 439 yards on the ground. Uh, for those that couldn't make the trip or, or listen on the radio, uh, how did your team give up that much uh, yardage on the ground? Was it because of the scholarship players? What was it? Well, you know, they were a little bit bigger, but really when you look at the film, we, we held point at the line of scrimmage. Physically, um, I, I thought we held up very well. Uh, they run the triple option, which takes a you know it's a whole new defense that you have to incorporate uh, for the game. Mm-hmm. They run the triple option, and it's assignment football. Uh, we really had done a great job. I thought our defense coaches did a great job of preparing our kids. Uh, but naturally, you know, the first game they're going to show you a couple of new formations. We didn't do a very good job of in-game adjustments. Uh, our kids didn't adjust very well to some things that they showed us. And, um, you know, we had a couple of kids that just didn't make the adjustments during the game as the coaches were trying to do those things and uh, gave up, you know, didn't didn't play assignment football all the way we should on a couple of runs, and they made some big, you know, five or six big runs, which, um, you know, totaled some big yardage for them. But, um, you know, they, they're a good football team. They pounded out. It's like I say, I think a lot I had to do, too, with offensively. We didn't stay on the field like we usually do. Um, um, which kept our defense out there for a lot of snaps, and they sort of wore down in the second half. In football, so many times we hear about the good loss. Was this a good loss? No, it really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too much to, to, you know, we it left a really bad taste in our mouth because we just didn't play as good as we could. You know, we didn't give ourselves a chance to win. Now, you know, we would have had to, the one reason why we're able as a non scholarship program to, compete against some scholarship programs is that we usually have a high level of execution, especially on the offensive side of the ball. We usually score a lot of points. And, um, you know, we can make excuses. Our head- headsets were down the whole game, so we really couldn't communicate with the coaches in the boxes, which is really important for us on that side of the ball. Uh, believe me, we just went out and got some new ones for this week. So, um, hmm. but, but other than that, you know, we just didn't play as well as we can possibly play. So, um, you know, it, it's frustrating when you sort of, you know, you don't give yourself a chance to win, and, and we didn't do that the other day. So, uh, you know, for us, like I told our kids, all I know is when you get knocked down, you just got to work a little bit harder. So we're, we're going to back to work. We're paying attention to the detail. Our kids got to understand, you know, we were successful last year. Uh, on the offense side of the ball, we led the country uh, in the offense. We were number one team in the nation on offense last year. But that don't carry over to this year. and We've got to pay attention to detail. We've got to go back to execute at a high level, and um, I think we'll be okay. Speaking with Kerwin Bell, JU head football coach, they play this Saturday against Western Illinois. That game's on the road Saturday at 4 p.m. That's their kickoff. Uh, Well, Kerwin, you you bring up the headset. Uh, Now, were those provided by JU or by the Citadel? No, you carry your own and you set them up. And um, uh, We actually had trouble one one time last year, actually the first game last year, uh, for a half, and then we corrected them. Uh, There was no correction in them this time. Uh, My offensive line coach is up in the booth talking to me. Um, he's helping me with the run game. He also helps with the corrections if there's any new things that they're throwing at us. And they did throw a few things in the first game. Uh, but, you know, we've got a senior late in office a lot. I was sort of disappointed that those guys didn't have a little bit better. And then, uh, you know, we couldn't make the necessary adjustments as quick as we could have if we'd had our headphones on. But, um, 
again, you know, there's no excuses in this game. You either do it or you don't. We didn't get the job done. Um, hopefully, though, we'll we'll work hard this week. And we have, I tell you what, our kids have responded really well. Great couple of days of practice here. Today will be our last day to prepare. And um, hopefully we'll go up there and get a win at Western Illinois. It's another tough football game. Uh, this team, they qualified for the playoffs last year, won a playoff game. Uh, so it's going to be a, a big game for us. And now, one one last question about Week One before we get to Week Two against Western Illinois. How long did you allow yourself to to dwell on this loss? Well, we had a long trip back on the buses after the game, and then um, you know came in Sunday, and we really wanted to watch the film. And like I said, I think defensively they felt very you know you give up 400 yards, how can you feel good? But mm-hmm. uh, like I said, we did make some adjustments. Uh, a couple of our young safeties didn't make uh, in during the game that hurt us on some long runs, but. Um, uh, the effort was there, and uh, now we get back to playing regular football, you know, not playing against a triple. Uh, we feel like we match up better with teams that play more of a spread top offense because we are undersized, but we got a lot of really good athletes that can run. So, um, you know, if we get against teams that throw the football and, and uh, do those things, we feel very comfortable. So if our kids keep playing hard on that side of the ball after watching the film, we felt very good. Uh, we showed the, kid, the film to the kids on Sunday. And then uh, hey, I told him. I told him Sunday night after we watched the film. I said, "Listen, we you paint a picture every week, and um, you hope they're pretty pictures that everybody want to buy wants to buy. But um, this one's gonna go in the garbage can. I mean, it, it was an ugly picture. Uh, well, if, but there's nothing you can do to change that picture. So they'll be there for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. And now we got to go paint another picture, and we got to turn the page. And I think our kids have done that. Uh, so for the picture this weekend against Western Illinois, you talk about getting back to regular football. Uh, do you try and change up the game plan for game two? Do you put a lot more on your senior quarterback, Josh McGregor? Uh, what, what are your plans for this weekend, the game Saturday? Well, he's a big key to our system. You know, he, we got to get him comfortable. And the way you do that is you execute up front in the offensive line. You pick up. You pick up the twists and the stunts and the blitzes that they're coming with, and uh, we've been very good at that. We've got a really good offensive line coach here, and Andy McLeod. He does a, a tremendous job, and um, we never did that though Saturday. We never got Josh comfortable. I had too many people running free um, in the backfield, even in the run game. Uh, we got to secure that. We've got seniors, you know, on our offensive line. Even though they play a lot of different positions from last year, they're, they've got a lot of experience and we got to regroup and, and go up there and get ready to play. But, um, you know, the key for us every week this year is to keep him healthy, keep him upright, keep him, him um, feeling very comfortable. If he does, if we do that, then um, we'll score a lot of points. Uh, Kerwin, uh, real quick before we let you go, and, and also good luck this weekend against Western Illinois, the head coach for the JU football team, Kerwin Bell. Uh, real quick, what is the goal for this year's JU team? You start 0-1, but what is the overall goal? Well, you know, we, we up, upped our schedule. I mean, we, we've been off a lot this year, playing three scholarship programs, the first two on the road, and then ended up next week at our home opener against Charleston Southern. Uh, you know, we're playing three scholarship programs in a row to start the season, um, and then we, we hopefully are not too beat up and we're ready to go play our conference schedule, which will be very tough this year with some tough games on the road like San Diego and, and um, Drake. Mm-hmm. University, they're always tough football teams, and now this year we got to play them on the road in some, you know, some some long road trips, going out to California and going out to Iowa. So um, it's not going to be an easy schedule, but um, you know, our, our goals is pretty simple: it's what we what can we can do on the field, and that's to be a champion, win a ring, and uh, we're going to try to win the PFL championship again. If we can somehow do that, along with um, you know bouncing back this week and winning a couple more of these scholarship programs games here the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, you know, have to put ourselves in position to get talked about as far as getting into the playoffs and playing for a national championship. Excellent. But, um, you know, we're going to try to, we're gonna try to win a championship again and, and then go from there. Excellent. Kerwin Bell, head coach for the JU Dolphins. Kerwin, good luck this weekend, and I know we'll talk very soon. All right. Thanks All a lot. Right. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Glad he could join us.